Chapter 71 Digging Up Old Demons At this moment, Kang Chong was gradually integrating into the wider world of the cultivation world. Knock knock knock. The shop assistant brought Kang Chong to the front of Wu Qianrong's elegant room and left. Kang Chong gently knocked on the door. A soft voice immediately came from inside the door, but the voice contained a hint of slight anger. Is there something wrong? Didn't I instruct you not to disturb me, if nothing is wrong? In the elegant room, Hua Qianrong was gazing at the Fendu Mountain in the distance. When she suddenly heard the knock on the door, she thought that it was the shopkeeper. She could not help but frown. A trace of displeasure flashed in her beautiful eyes. Orphan some dudes threatened the shop assistant with force to harass her, causing her to be annoyed. But she couldn't afford to blame the shop assistant. After all, the other party was forced to do so. It's me, Kang Tian. Kang Tian was a little puzzled. He heard a hint of anger in Hua Qianrong's words and wondered who had provoked this beautiful fairy. A. Hua Wanyong did not expect Kang Tian and was slightly surprised. Then she adjusted her emotions and went to open the door for Kang Chon. For this mysterious youth, she had a special curiosity. The door of the house opened, revealing Hua Wanyong's peerless appearance, causing Kang Chon to light up. And he couldn't help but laugh off-handedly. Every time I see Flower Fairy, I light up. What the ancients said about the sinking fish and falling geese is nothing more than that. The brat finally knows how to pick up girls. Dan Huang's teasing came from his mind. So it's Prince Kang Chon, please. Hua Wanyong revealed a hint of shyness at the words. If those dudes had teased her like this, she would have been very angry. But she didn't see half a bit of desire in Kang Chon's eyes. All she had was pure admiration, and she couldn't help but have a wave of goodwill rise in her heart. Hua Wanyong let Kang Chon into the elegant room and poured him a cup of tea. Thank you, Kang Chon thanked, took the cup of tea and gently sniffed it. Instantly the fragrance was fresh and fragrant, which was also mixed with a trace of a young girl's body odor, which was intoxicating and mesmerizing. Well, good tea. Kang Tian did not have any research on the tea ceremony, took a big gulp of the cup and said politely, Brat, don't pretend to know if you don't know. Have you spoiled to like this? It's simply an insult to the tea ceremony. In his mind came the sound of Dan Emperor laughing and cursing. Opposite to him, Hua Qianrong also covered her mouth and laughed lightly. Kang Tian couldn't help but blush with embarrassment on his old face. Cough, cough, right, fairy flower. Why did you leave in a hurry yesterday? What is the origin of that little girl? You seem to be afraid of her. Kang Chon hurriedly pulled away from the topic. Flower thinking wrong heard a whole complexion, full of apologies. Yesterday was my slave's rudeness. As for that little devil girl's identity, said this. She was a little hesitant, and then clenched her teeth. Forget it, anyway, with your strength. Sooner or later you will deal with her. It's good to remind you first. Kang Chon smiled and said, I've been dealing with that girl for a long time and I'm also clear about why this girl is feared by everyone. It's simply a reincarnation of a demon. That little devil girl is called Zhao Linga. She is the jewel of the head of the Zhao family, one of the four great families of the Great Tang Dynasty, and his elder brother is the head of the four. Masters of the Imperial Capital, the God of War, Zhao Wuji. Hua Wanyong said, Oh, this girl comes from such a big background, Kang Tian was shocked at what he heard. What a behemoth the Zhao family was, even more powerful than Jin San Zhao's Jin family. He did not expect that little demonic girl to be the little princess of the Zhao family. But what made Kang Tian wonder was how a prestigious family like the Zhao family had nurtured this little devil. However, Flower Thinking Wrong immediately told him the reason, only to see her say with a bitter smile, this little girl has been playing with eccentricity since she was a child, and I don't know where she learnt the skill of grave robbing, which has made the imperial capital a big fuss. Down to the famous families, up to the princes and nobles, none of the ancestral tombs have escaped her clutches, even, even, Hua Qianrong was somewhat unable to continue. 
Kang Tion was stunned to hear. This girl is too powerful. She dares to commit crimes in the imperial capital. But it's no wonder, with the Zhao family protecting her, who dares to offend her. Just even what? Kang Tion was a little curious, picking up the teacup, his hand, and cooing a mouthful of tea once again. Even her own family's ancestral tomb was not spared. Wu Qi and Rong laughed bitterly. Fft. Kang Chion sniffed, and a mouthful of tea almost sprayed onto Flower Fairy's face. But luckily, it, it was blocked by Flower Fairy's body protection true essence. I'm sorry, I was just as surprised. Kang Chion hurriedly made amends, sighing in his heart. That little girl was truly a devil. She even spared her own family's ancestral tomb. She truly deserved to achieve sacrifice for art. When the little girl said that she could sacrifice everything for art, he still disdained it. But now that he thought about it, this girl indeed did it, truly. Worthy of being the miracle of the tomb raiding world and the devil of the cultivation world. After thinking about it, Kang Chong took a rag and wiped the water stains off the table. Just now it was really dangerous, fortunately. Waki and Rong's strength was not weak. Otherwise, if he sprayed a face of tea, then he would have no place to hide. No, it's fine. I was also taken aback when I first heard about this. Waki and Rong smiled and twisted her hair, saying softly, Kang Chon's surprise was expected. No matter who heard about that little witch's deeds, they would all gasp in amazement. As the young princess of the Zhao family, she should be the proud daughter of heaven in everyone's imagination. But the little witch's behavior had left everyone dumbfounded, who would have thought that she would be a grave robber. And also a grave robber who wouldn't even let go of her own family's ancestral graves. I'm afraid that it's the people of the Zhao family who didn't think of it either. What a devil cast in the wrong mold. Dan Huang's sigh came from his mind. Kang Chun deeply shared the same feeling. That little girl was definitely an unscrupulous demon in her previous life. What was even more terrifying was that there was another demon who taught her grave robbing skills. I really don't know who that girl's master was, but she had actually tempered a cute little lowly into a scornful grave robber. Alas, this girl's family must be a headache, and also, she doesn't even spare her own family's ancestral tombs. I'm afraid she's even more ruthless towards the ancestral tombs of other people's families. Kang Tian said. Yeah, I heard that one of the Zhao family's supreme elders was so angry that he vomited blood on her. Spotum went off the deep end, but in the end, he was fortunately saved. Hua and Rong laughed bitterly. Kang Tian lost his smile at his words. This girl is really absolute. No wonder when Hua Wanyong saw her, she ran away. Dare I say that she was shocked by her infamy. This girl, ahaha, even Emperor Dan was laughing so hard that his stomach hurt. Kang Tian secretly mourned for the Zhao family. The reputation of the first great cultivation family of the Great Tang was thus tarnished by the little girl. I really don't know what kind of sins the Zhao family head had created, giving birth to such a seed. Flower thinking wrong smiled bitterly and continued. Not only that, this girl patronized the ancestral graves of all the other three great families of the imperial capital. So angry that the three great families joined forces to beat the door to the door. And in the end, it was only after the imperial family of the great Tang stepped in to mediate. And the Zhao family apologized and then made some compensation that the matter was understood. Just think about it. She didn't even spare her own family's ancestral tomb. So naturally, she wouldn't spare the other three great families' ancestral tombs. I just don't know how the ancestral tombs of the great Tang Imperial family weren't stolen. Could it be that this girl has a clear conscience? Kang Tian was not surprised this time. The little girl did not even let go of her own family's ancestral tombs. And then do other great things. That is also reasonable. However, the royal family of the Great Tang Dynasty ruled the entire country of the Great Tang Dynasty. Their ancestral tombs must be more attractive to the little girl. According to the character of the little girl, should not let go of the right. Huaki and Rong nodded with a smile and said, 
in the field of grave robbing, that girl definitely does not have the word conscience. As the royal family of the Great Tang Kingdom, how powerful their intelligence capabilities are. After the theft of the three great families' ancestral tombs, the royal family immediately strengthened the defenses of the imperial tombs, which made the little girl unable to do anything about it. Oh, I see. It seems that there are also graves that are difficult for the little girl to defeat. The three great families look like they don't care at all about their own family's ancestral graves. Otherwise, how could it be so easy for the little girl to get her hands on them? It dawned on Kang Tian that as the royal family of the Great Tang Kingdom, if they couldn't even look at their own family's ancestral graves well, it would really be a great shame. Not so. Flower thinking wrong shook her head at the words. Her eyebrows arched up as she softly said, What kind of heritage are the three great families? Their ancestral tombs are not only equipped with heavy formations and prohibitions, there are also expert guards. Ordinary grave robbers are simply unable to take a step beyond the thunder pool. It's really because that little girl is too powerful and unknowingly toured through the three great families' ancestral tombs without knowing what was going on. HMM, by the looks of it, that girl's master should be an expert. It wouldn't be an expert of the corpse catching sect, would it? Kang Chion couldn't help but think of last night's situation. That little girl's methods were absolutely magical, not something that could be compared to ordinary grave robbers. With such amazing means, her master would not be obscure. He didn't believe that the little girl was self-taught. This is a mystery. The entire imperial capital, including the people of the Zhao family, are unable to know where this girl learned her grave robbing skills from. Flower thinking wrong also knew about this and shook her head with a bitter smile. Kang Tian secretly guessed who exactly was this girl's master. With such grave robbing skills, apart from the experts of the corpse catching sect, he really couldn't think of anyone else. After leaving Flower Thinking's elegant room, Kang Tian returned to his own small courtyard. After a conversation, he finally knew the little girl's origin. Kang Tian's heart could be described as a shocking wave. This girl's history of growth could be written as a legend. At a young age, she had traveled across the ancestral tombs of all the major families in the imperial capital and could be called the miracle of the tomb raiding world, the devil of the devils. Kang Tian couldn't help but regret that he had messed with this demon if he had known that the little girl had gone to Fendu Mountain that day to commit a crime. He wouldn't have gone to Fendu Mountain even if he had killed himself. Unfortunately, it was too late for him to regret now. If he didn't keep his promise with the little girl three days later, with that girl's devilish nature, she would spread his portrait all over Fengdu Mountain. And then he would be hunted down and killed by the entire corpse catching sect. Thinking of the corpse catching sect Yuanyin stage powerhouse, Kang Chion shook his head and laughed bitterly. It looked like he had to go to the round with that girl after three days. Alas, why is his life so bitter? Returning to the house, Kang Chon began his boring cultivation. From Hua Wonyong, he couldn't help but learn about the little girl's origins. And at the same time, he also knew about some of the major events that had happened in the cultivation world. Nowadays, the entire Great Tang cultivation world was shaken by the appearance of the corpse catching sect, and there were even more turbulent currents in the shadows. Among them, the one worth noting was that young experts from all sides were about to converge on Fengdu City, which might trigger a peak battle of the young generation. Originally, this was none of Kang Chon's business, but he had already accepted the battle invitation from hegemonic warrior Wu Gang, and he was destined to not be able to avoid this battle, in which case, he would inevitably enter the sights of many peak young experts, and a great battle would inevitably not happen. However, Kang Tion was not afraid, and it could even be said that he was already boiling with weariness. If you want to fight, then let's fight. Kang Tion was full of weariness. The Kang Tion hegemony blood flowing in his body had already begun to boil. He didn't fight for fame or fortune, but sought to break through his own limits by fighting against experts of his age. But he also knew how powerful those young experts were, 
so before that he had to raise his strength as soon as possible. At the very least raise his cultivation to the fifth turn realm. This wasn't difficult. Kang Chion himself was already at the fourth turn realm. With the help of the Yuan Condensation Pill, he could definitely break through to the fifth turn in a short period of time. Therefore, these days, he stayed in the house and cultivated until three days later, when he rushed to the location he had agreed with the little girl. At the foot of Fendu Mountain on an ancient tree, Kang Chion was hidden in the wide foliage, surreptitiously surveying the mountain range in front of him that was shrouded by black clouds and gloomy chi, and in his ears he could faintly hear the screams of a stern ghost hissing, as if in front of him was the entrance to hell.